there's a few seats left up here. Come on over. There's some seats over here. Come on over. for American One, and we thank you for braving the chilly temperatures, although it feels pretty nice in here, to celebrate with American One and Jackson <coughs> County and our Parks Department. Uh, we thought that Hinkley Donuts and Jackson Coffee Company Coffee were a good incentive to get people to come, so there's your reward. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, this is an important celebration. It's a celebration of a public private partnership agreement uh, between Jackson County and American One, and, and it's an extremely important um, day for us. Um, but before we give, begin the formalities, I would like our elected officials who are in attendance to stand, and you're already standing, <laughs> um, and newly, effect, um, newly effect, elected officials, um, would you please just introduce yourselves? So. <laughs> I am not silly enough to think that I could do that for you, so why don't we start right up here. I'm Jim Shotwell, represent Summit and Liberty Townships, and I'm the chairman of the board of Jackson County Commission. I'm Sarah Leitner, I'm currently the District 1 County Commissioner for Jackson, Rives, Tompkins, Springport, and Parma, and I'm the newly elected 65th House of Mike Way, I'm trustee at Summit Township and chair of the Parks Board. Good morning, I'm Karen Kaufman, the county treasurer. Good morning, I'm Darius Williams. I'll be representing the 8th District County Commission. Yes. I'm John Williams. I was representing the 8th District. <laughs> with the county is our promise to gift $4 million for the construction of a new American One Events Center. Um, this par partnership agreement was exactly almost to the day, two years in the making. It was just about two years ago, shy of I think it was just a couple days, when we announced our intention uh, to give this gift. But agreements that are significant take a long time to flesh out and they should if you're doing it responsibly. And uh, that's what American One in the county has done, and, and we are thrilled that this day has arrived. Um, it is what American One calls a once-in-a-lifetime gift. This is not typical for us. We love to be generous with our community, but this size of a gift is a once-in-a-lifetime gift for us. And let me give you a little bit of trivia. I, I love this piece of trivia. When the building is complete in 2020, it will be perfectly timed with the 70th anniversary of the starting of American One Credit Union. Woo. Pretty cool year. Woo. So now that the ink has dried on the agreement and the equipment is in place, the fencing is up as you can see, um, we can't wait to watch this a new event center take shape. And to share the American One perspective with you, I'd like to introduce our president and CEO, Martha Kirstenow. and thank Chairman Jim Shotwell and the County Commissioners that are here today as well as the Board of Directors of American One that are with us for having the vision and the determination to create this partnership. Together we are embarking on a transformational project on county property in the city of Jackson. Our vision of a building that is useful and affordable for citizens of Jackson is important for the community and for American One. 
American One hosts many free events in Jackson. Some of these events cannot grow because of lack of space. Our Women's Expo attracts 3,000 people today, and who knows how many we could accommodate with more space. Today you can see our community car sale in action behind us. Our community car sales can expand with the development of the park. However, the importance of the event center is not the building itself, it's the place of community that's important. This is the place where you might purchase your first car, where you go to your high school prom, where you attend a community or business meeting. Maybe you're attending the home builder show and making choices to remodel your home. This could be where you gather for a family reunion or where you get married. In other words, this is the place where you'll experience all kinds of life events and create all kinds of memories. It's so encouraging to actually see the improvements in our community over the past two years, and we are so pleased to be part of the momentum of activity and investment in Jackson County and the city of Jackson. Please join me in welcoming County Commissioner and Chairman Jim Shotwell to the podium. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'd like to uh, have you all close your eyes or just picture in your mind 50 to 80 sycamore trees being where you're standing right now. The year is 1860, and this is a Civil War depot, and it's loading up American soldiers to go represent Michigan and the Wolverine State in the Civil War. I want you to think back to 1918 when Mr. Keeley stepped up and created a festival here based on agriculture for youth and was involved with the 4-H and Future Farmers of America in representing Jackson as one of the locations for one of the biggest and best county parks to ever be attended in the state of Michigan then. I want you to think back of a gathering place where picnics and lunches were put on by elks and moose organizations, large tents were raised, Meals were provided for different people, and an opportunity to be community was on this site. I want you to think back now also to the recent past, to the Harness Raceway that we had here, and the over 5,000 people that attended that event put on by, I know I won't admit to it, but Mike Way and taking a, a cherished heart for everything down here as the chairman of the Parks Board. I want you to also think that we called this the fairgrounds. So it's been many names over many years, but Mr. Keeley is the one who had the vision to make sure this property was established. The grandstands were built and the organization was put forward for us to have a community location. Now I want you to put on your glasses to look forward into the future. I want you to think 20 years from now, when you're looking at your granddaughter or daughter coming to a prom or coming to an event at the fairgrounds inside a beautiful new convention center setting on the property you're on right now. And we're using multimodal transportation from all over the state to get here, to get to this location. And the excitement that we have with the, all the other buildings that we have involving whether it be the farm community or uh, the city citizens of the city of Jackson or all of us be involved. These are the kind of conversations that myself and Mr. Puckett had over six years ago when we began the discussions on this, the, the thought of building a, a convention center or a community center. And the partnership and the dedication that American One has had over the last 10 years with us in the Rollatorium and having a beautiful location and helping us save a cherished building for Jackson. These are, these are buildings that have been utilized over the years and recognized as an asset to the community, but also something that everyone can use. It's located in the center of the community, and we look forward for the next 50 to 70 years to be able to utilize this new building and also be able to have Jackson have a place of community. And that's what the new county park is gonna be. It'll be a location that'll be open 52 weeks a year and be available that they put the county fair on at. It'll be a location where it's open 52 weeks a year and they have a convention center. And they have outdoor buildings that are available also for the other many different animal events that we'd like to see. 
And rumor has it that we're looking at a way to connect the river and the trail system right here on this property. So that way, going forward, Jackson will have a, will be the head again of the community trail system in the state of Michigan with the Iron Bell, the Falling Waters Trail, and the Blue Water Trail, all meeting here at the Jackson County Fairgrounds. That's the type of community that we're hoping to generate here at the fairgrounds. And I thank you. this time to introduce Rockford Construction who's helped us with the vision going further. Jen and I apologize I won't murder your last name. <laughs> so please step forward. Good morning. My name is Jen Boeswinkle. That's a mouthful. Uh, I'm Executive Vice President of Rockford Construction and what a great day this is. We usually think about groundbreakings as the start of something, at least in my business. Uh, but really, we've talked a little bit about the journey that it has taken to get us this far. Uh, it is no small thing to execute a successful public-private partnership. It really takes a lot of dedication, a lot of vision, a lot of time, a little bit of wrangling here and there to make sure that what the result is, is the best result for all of Jackson. So I just want to take a moment to recognize all of the players in this effort, obviously American One, the county, the Parks Department, Jeff Hovarder, who has been our fearless leader in so much of this, Gary Bart Barton, a great partner, because at every step of the way, as we've been involved, we've seen an effort on the part of everyone involved to find out how to get to more, how to get to better, how to add value, how to add flexibility how to think beyond the bounds of this project and how it ties into the Jackson community, how it impacts your businesses, how it impacts your local trade contractors. We're looking forward to some great partnerships moving forward. So really, this has been a vision for more, more, more. And you so often don't see that in these kinds of projects. So my hat's off to all of you. Thank you to all of you for the hard work that you've put in in creating this vision and bringing real value to Jackson. Uh, we've had a partner along the way, Progressive uh, AE, an architecture firm that we've had the privilege of working with for many years. Uh, they also have been part of this vision and part of the effort to create more value within the community. So I'm going to hand it over to Jim Horman. So, good morning. Um, I'm going to start by thanking everyone for showing up to this ceremony. It's, it's a really big event and it's important in the phase of this project so um, along with Tom Dankert um, and our design team at Progressive A, my name is Jim Horman I'm an architect and principal uh, we've been on this journey for several years now and I want to thank Jeff embarrassed Jeff um, along with Mike Overton <laughs> and say that project team leadership has been outstanding um, the county staff has pushed and pulled for years literally years to get to this point so thank you to the staff and congratulations because that's a big deal so wanted to say that um, American One uh, without you this wouldn't be here so thank you again for for the visionary donation that started all of this um, but like the residents of Jackson County this facility will be a hard-working community asset it has and we've talked about it already there are a number of uses for it primarily for the residents of the county it's for you to come and use for any event. It's large scale, so it will hold out of town big events. Um, this will be a draw for those events out of the county that will bring their dollars with them, so it's an economic generator. Uh, this, uh, this venue will be facing toward the fairground, so this long term, uh, this, this legacy fair that has really been the culture of this area, of this community, is is now going to be bolstered by a venue that will support new items and new events um, within. So uh, from our design team, I just want to say thank you very much, and uh, we uh, hope to see you at the Rubicon soon. Before we go on to the official groundbreaking, official, yeah, um, I want to give you a couple statistics that haven't been shared that you may not know. So this event center will be able to seat 850 people banquet style for dinner, if, if that gives you a, an idea of how large it's going to be. 
and for theater style seating it will seat about 1500 people so we have nothing like that um, in Jackson and I just wanted to give you a little bit of a, a picture of what that looks like obviously you have pictures around here but that that's what it will really be like inside so um, I'd like to before uh, okay there we go um, <laughs> Before we invite the groundbreakers up, I want to point out these little shovels, they're commemorative shovels. So those are not for digging in little piles of dirt <laughs> or for repotting house plants. They are the best ice cream scoop <laughs> you will ever use. I kid you not. We gave them, we gave something like this away when we, uh, I think it was when we built Argyle. Yeah, the Argyle Street branch, which is too small to even be a branch now. So um, they're a great ice cream scoop. So use them on a warmer day than today, but please take them home and put them to use. So I'd like to introduce some very important people to this project who will be our groundbreakers. Three of them are American One board members. And when I call you, if you come up, and then you'll be handed your shovel and your hard hat, all right? Um, first, I'm going to introduce Jerry Tremaine. Jerry, why don't you stand? And Jerry is our longest serving board member. And um, Jerry, remind me how many years? How many years oh. have you been on the board? 40, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> the union board members are volunteers. They are 100% volunteers and they put in a ton of time and, and um, we so appreciate them. Uh, next is Frank Weathers. Frank is an uh, American One board member, retired from AT&T, and also retired from the city of Jackson. Oh. All right, I know they're ready to play in the dirt. <laughs> and uh, Linda Shaw, where's, there's Linda. Linda's also a director at American One, and she uh, works for Spring Arbor University. mentioned in the comments some um, Mike Way. Come on up, Mike. Mike is the chair of the Jackson County Parks Commission and of course a longtime advocate for our beautiful park system. So. And Sarah, Sarah Leitner. Sarah is the chair of the Fair Board and of course as you already heard newly elected a state representative. CEO and President you've already heard from. Steve, Steve Shotwell, uh, Chair of the Jackson County Commissioners. <laughs> so at this time we invite you to head outside and we're going to do some ceremonial digging and that pile of dirt out there and get some great pictures. And after we're done, the officials will be back in the tent and we will ask them questions. Okay, thanks for coming.
little more effort. Uh, I know, right? More of it? <laughs> Fling it at the crowd. <laughs> All right, did it. Take a scoop for two. Oh. What, what are we doing with it? If you appear to be too good at that, we have some casual summer jobs. <laughs> yeah. Hang on. We need to get, some, get a picture from the other side. Okay. Thanks, Marla. All right, let go where you okay. go. Okay.